In this video, we'll implement delete method in both student and department controller. We use this method to delete record from the table. Okay, now let's start with department controller. So I'm going to copy this put method and pasting below that. Okay, now change this method to delete. And parameter will be int id. Okay, now change the query delete from department table. In var condition department id, we have to pass the parameter id plus id. That's it delete from department table where given id change the message delete out successfully failed to delete save this run this app okay now go to sql server now execute this select query to know what the record exists in our table okay now i am going to delete this third record Okay, go to postman you have changed this method to delete the controller name then followed by id here we have to specify the id number 3 then click send here we have the response deleted successfully now let's check it in sql execute this again now third record has been deleted okay now we'll do the same thing in student controller copy this delete method and pasting below that in student controller you change the table name student where student id parameter id okay here we have the delete message failed to delete okay save this and run this app go back to sql server here select this uh, select and execute this select query here we have the three records in student table now i am going to delete this third record okay let's do it in postman you change this method to delete and then parameter we have to pass the id 3 then click send see here we have the response deleted successfully okay let's check it in sql execute again the third record has been deleted successfully okay i hope um, this video is helpful to you thank you so much for watching this video